Brian Hill here. Welcome you all back to another fabulous day of tarot. Divine Squad. Appreciate y'all coming back. Hit those like buttons. Those shares and subscribes are doing great. Appreciate y'all coming back. Thank you very much. Noobs. Have a seat. Relax. It's going to be a fun time. So, this is what I do. Okay. Intuitively read these cards. All these. All these. I get messages and I put them together and I give you a story. Okay. So, what I do is I pull two cards from the beginning, right? At the top, which is your energy. This is the duality of yourself. This is the yin and the yang, the positive, the negative, the good and the bad, the light and the dark side. Mm -hmm. That's right, Luke. We all have a motherfucking dark side. And noobs, I swear, because this kid channel is not for me. So, kids, leave the room. You know what I'm saying? One last thing. If it resonates with you, that's fine, because I read for the collective. So, all of the signs in my collective, I pull the energy for. So, if you're in there, and you're in that sign, and it doesn't work, then it's KK. But if it works, and it fits in your story, then it's K. Hit that thumbs up button. You know what I'm saying? Watch the video, thumbs up. Spread the word, tell the subway guy, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, okay? So, we're gonna get right into it and keep going. So we're gonna do the sign of Leo. Good, gracious, mighty Leos. Right. So Leos, how y'all doing? You having a good day? Mm-hmm. You're drinking your coffee? You feeling disorganized today? That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that Leo's are all over the place, but let's get to the story and find out what the exact energy is this current moment. It's not what was or to be, it's this current moment. Okay, so sit down, open yourself up, and let's go. Here we go. Leo's, top of the energy for you is this. Queen of Pentacles, very beautiful, very grounded, very stable, abundant. Did I mention beautiful? <laughs> of course I did. All right. This is fantastic. Fantastic. That's my dogs, they're just saying hi to everybody. Queen of Pentacles, and here is the other half of the energy. Oh, Nine of Wands. Okay, so you are feeling like the Queen of Wands. You got your shit together, you're stable, you're grounded, you're beautiful. Stable is the key word, grounded is another key word. Nine of Wands, so you have now achieved, you have attained this kind of mentality where you are in your Leo energy and you're not, you're putting things behind you and you're not letting anything stand in your way, right? Nine of Wands. You're, you're putting things behind you, right? Right. And you're on guard, but you're grounded, okay? Because of Wand. You're, well, you're grounded because you're the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Right. So Nine of Wands. Is there something stopping you? Something irking you? Some shit you're putting behind you? That's what I see. You're putting some shit behind you. Because you're the queen. You're just like, I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time for this. Off with your head. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to get to the story. And we're going to see what this is all about. Okay. Here we go, Leos. Just for you right there. Ooh. Nine of cups. Wish is are abundant you know you you have you have you're in this energy of like you know total love right love cups nines i can't help how they come out man can't help it this is what i'm drawn to so if you don't like it there's the door don't let it kick you on the way out mm -hmm. so nine of cups wish fulfillment you're in delight you're happy you're like just in La La Land, okay? Good for you, Queen of Pentacles, Leo's over there. 
basking in your glory of love and shit. This is great. Spread it on to everybody else. What's that? Ooh, seven of wands. Passion. There's a lot of spirit going on right here, Leo. A lot of spirit. Spirit says in your mojo, your drive, your... Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> right? So you're confident to not let anything stand in your way and you're putting some shit behind you. Very, very excellent energy there, Leos. I'm loving this idea. So what popped out here for you? Justice. Libra energy. Balance. Justice. So. Are you seeking justice? Is there justice? You feel justice in this? This is, feel, this is what you feel is right? This is what you feel is... Let's see. Five of Pentacles. So, let's get let's get this analyzed here. Okay. So what I'm seeing is that the Queen of Pentacles, you Leo, have grounded yourself, have been stable because you've had to achieve this attitude of fucking putting shit behind you that like pissed you off and was just didn't fit in your grace sense um you are now in this nine of cups so you're all like lovey-dovey and you're thinking about romance and marriage and you know the whole nine the whole nine yards with that shit and so because there have been obstacles in your way that you've had to stand confident and overcome you want some kind of justice some kind of justice for feeling left out in the cold i think Okay, feeling justice. You want justice because you were left out in the cold in some kind of way. Or that you want justice because there, I don't know, let's, cut, let's get another card. This is multiple kind of hearings and scenes and, well, okay, I knew that was coming. Okay, so... Confusion. Okay, so. Some confusion. Within your emotions, you're kind of all mixed up. Nothing's really clear, okay? Because you fear that you've had these obstacles. So I think this, this is Leo's want justice and not fearing that they're going to be left out in the cold, which that makes them emotionally kind of confused, wishy-washy, unclear, okay? Because you've been through so much shit before with um, obstacles coming in your, in, you know, in your way, and you've had to, like, you know, confidently stand your ground, feeling lovey-dovey, but still also having this, uh, having to put bullshit behind you and shit that pisses you off, and all that stuff, but the Ten of Wands comes out, Ten of Swords comes out, okay? So you've been through a lot of pain, you've been through a lot of suffering, you've been through a lot of hurt, you've been through a lot of shit in your mind and in your spirit that you've had to overcome. And so now I can see why you would fear this being left out in the cold. And you want justice from that, so you don't want to fear that anymore. And I can see that clearly, okay? Now that that came right out like that, that's that makes complete sense. And so, why? Like, because you don't want to lose the love feeling, see? Because you're single and you're abundant. You got your shit together because you built your own shit. You came from, you know, however you made it is how you made it for yourself. You know what I mean? The nine of, nine of Pentacles. So you made your own stability. So that's what you're afraid of, of losing the stability as being the Queen of Pentacles in the glory and magnificence and got her own place and all that kind of shit going on, right? And so that's what you're fearing of, like, slipping and losing your stability, okay? Okay? So that gives you that emotional, you know, displacement and unclarity and feeling that you could be left out in the cold, okay? But you've made it, right? You still have that love in you, right? You still want that wish fulfillment, that Ten of Cups, right? But there's some devil energy coming around, okay? So that could be like a false person 
lying, cheating, deceiving, trickery. But see, that's under justice, which is also under the uh, nine of wands, right? So what this is saying is that don't trick yourself. Okay, don't deceive yourself. Don't think that you can't hold your own success, your own stability. Too many cards. <laughs> so don't get into that shadow side of yourself and think that everything's going to go to shit and you're just going to go in your head and then you're just going to be trapped with all this confusion all while feeling like me. You go and be left out in the cold. Let's pull another card after this devil energy card. I don't like looking at it, but here we go. And it's going to be like this. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. Mix your emotions. Explore your emotions. Right. Be creative. Okay. Think of different ways to get yourself out of that mentality when you start feeling like mm, self defeating. That's the devil energy. That's the self defeating energy. That will not bring you any justice to overcome these things and have this wish fulfillment of the Nine of Cups. Because it will lead you to the ultimate stability. So have faith that you do not trick yourself into this mental confusion of um, shit. You know, at any moment, what ifs and oh my gods and holy shits and... You start losing it in your mind, and then your passions start dwindling, and now you're slipping in your uh, stability. But that's not the way it's going to be, because you've overcome a lot. You've come from, you're the queen. Got this. So just mix your ideas. Be creative on, on figuring out a way to, like, get yourself out of that mood. So maybe meditate, you know, it works for me, like those breathing exercises. Slow your heart rate down, you know, that kind of thing. Put you in a different perspective of seeing some shit in a different way. So this is all that is saying. And you will even become even more stable because you will ground yourself better. You will feel a little more secure, stable, uh, on top of your actions and your emotions and your thoughts, right? Because the ten of... Swords, it's like you're releasing those mental anguishes and those burdens. But don't slip into the devil energy. What's up with all these damn cards everywhere? <laughs> but don't slip into that devil energy and start tricking yourself about that. Be smart. Mix it up. Do some meditation. Do some breathing exercises. That shit really works to go in and get rid of that shit. Because it will lead to a new new uh, ace of pentacles so that's a new start in an abundant stability okay so you go from the queen of pentacles to the ace of pentacles and you can't get any better than that so you're going to take action towards this in your mind so you are ready you're willing you're gung-ho you're doing it you're charging hard and guess what you're looking like a badass Okay. And that brings you to celebrate, be happy. This is a possible marriage card, but this is definitely celebrating, basking in the glory the angels are singing. Right. And that's great because it's under the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So, yeah, you'll be happy. You'll celebrate if you start taking action towards this in your mind and go in that direction because it'll be smooth. It'll be a smooth sailing. Six of Wands, Six of Swords, smooth sailing, celebrating, but you must, as the Knight of Swords, take that action to do those things and find those ways to get yourself out of that devilish energy and feeling self-defeated. We don't play that shit. There's no pity parties here for anybody, okay? We do feel bad. We do have sympathy. We do have empathy, but it's called fucking free will. So, you want to be happy? Going to make yourself happy. So find those ways, because they, they will work. Trust me. Trust me, they will work. Okay? And see? So then, you're ready. The divine puts somebody in your life that is your exact half, your twin, your masculine or your feminine of the divine nature. Okay? Boom. There you go. So when you can get yourself stable like that, 
and find those ways to ease your temper, Leos, and those self-defeating thoughts, Leos, then you take that action and you and you apply those techniques and guess what? It'll make you happy as shit, be smooth sailing, and now you'll be ready for what? Your nine of cups. Bam! See? Nine of cups. Divine lover card. There you go. Thank you, God. Praise God. He's good, right? So, there's your lover. There's your divine counterpart that pops right up. And then this person is the king of cups, okay? Loving, nurturing, marriage material has much to offer. Bam. Giant cup. Congratulations, Leos. And that is so perfect because the seven of cups, which is the fairy tale, unclear, kind of thinking, wishy-washy, what ifs, and I don't know, and oh my god, Lead, once that goes away, and you drop that shit, and you find those ways to overcome that devilish self-defeating energy, well then, it leads to the abundant stability with your divine partner, who is very much marriage material, king of cups, so take an action, this is the boss, the boss, who's definitely the king of his emotions. So they're good, they're settled, they're stable, they're happy, they're lovey. They're all yours. Here comes two cards for the ending. I wanted to find out how this works out. Right there. So their offer comes in. Page. So there's a message, there's an email, a text, there's an in-person message, but it says, hey, let's go down this walkway together and start something stable. Let's start a foundation, let's plant our roots, Let's do this shit. So this King of Cups, who is your divine partner, sees that you got your shit together finally, and then comes in and makes this offer. Wow, Leo. So that comes to now the Knight of Pentacles. Now you return to favor and then you engage. And so you take action towards the stability. Wow. That's just like a Leo to take action, right? Once they can start backpedaling, you can't stop a fucking lion from running at you, man. You know what I'm saying? Good job, Leos. I like that. So, you know, go with it. Find those ways. Because we all get in our heads, get in emotions, and we get lost. Right? We get lost. And sometimes when we get lost for too long, that holds us back on seeing and being and having those opportunities. Because if you would have stayed stuck like that, that King of Cups would have never popped out. Because God says you're not ready. So when we get ready and we do these these things, sacrificing, getting over some shit, hurting when we don't want to hurt, you know. Once we learn that lesson, then we get over it. And then we, we get rewarded with, with, with what we're supposed to have. And oftentimes it's the person that, you know, we're looking for, right? Relationships. Those kind of things. Thanks, Leos, for your time and your energy. Remember, find those ways to overcome that self-defeating, devilish energy. Control your temper, and you'll be fine. I have peace and pray. Amen.